Oof. Oh, whoa. Hi, I'm Matthew Burchette, and this is Behind the Wings. How do I get out of this stupid thing? So on today's episode of Behind the Wings, we're actually going to be talking about our B-18 Bolo bomber. Now the B-18 was America's first really modern medium bomber, and we're going to go out there and check it out. Now when you see it, you're probably going to be like, what? It's not that great. Well, that's because we're in the restoration phases, and trust me, it looks better than it did a couple of years ago. The other thing we're going to talk about is how rare this plane is. There are only six of these guys left, so let's quit talking and start looking. Man, this thing is... <coughs> Sorry, I get all goofy when I'm looking at planes. All right, so behind me is a B-18 Bolo bomber. Bam! How cool is this thing? It's got that kind of 1930s vibe to it. Well, duh, that's because it was developed in the 1930s by Douglas. Now, at the time, the mid-1930s, this thing rocked. It had three machine guns, it could travel up to 164 miles an hour, and it could go, wait for it, 800 miles with a 4,000 pound bomb load. How cool is that? Well, it might have been cool then, but by 1939, when the Nazis invaded Poland, it was not cool. So, the B-18 was relegated to its own little world of anti-submarine warfare. So, let's go check out the tail, because i got to show you something back there. What is this? Well, this is just, you know, tail lights. But what we were talking about was a mad boom a magnetic anomaly detector. And what that was was just a big boom, kind of a marlin spike looking thing, that came out of the tail of this plane. And what it allowed it to do was to actually detect German U-boats under the water from their magnetic signature. Once they were found, then you could drop some death charges on them and hopefully sink the U-boat. In fact, the B-18 Bolo was actually credited with three German U-boat sinkings during the war. That's pretty cool. Now. You know what else is cool? What Wings Over the Rockies is doing to this particular plane. We're restoring it back to its former glory. Let's start on the inside and I'll show you what we're doing. This makes me a little sad to see her like this. Okay, I'm being a little maudlin. But it does make me a little bit sad. But you know what? She's had a great life. She has spent time at almost... <laughs> every air base across the United States during World War II, went to Alaska where she flew cargo and even sprayed crops, but best yet, she flew guns, or at least tried to, get guns to Cuba. In fact, the packages were marked for Fidel. How cool is that? Well, she never made it obviously and we ended up with her. And that's where the really cool stuff starts because we are going to try to bring her back to life. So, let's go see some of the things that we're actually doing to her to bring this old girl back to life. I gotta get out of here. Oh boy. Here we are in the top ventral turret of a B-18 Bolo. Now you can see to my left is a replica 30 caliber machine gun. Now, compare that to the bigger and bolder B-17 which had 30 machine guns at 50 caliber. Not to mention the fact that a B-17 could fly all the way to Berlin and back. This guy only had a range of about 800 miles. That means you'd get to Berlin and have to jump out over the German capital. That you just bombed. Not a good idea. Anyway, We've seen about all we can see in the inside. Let's go to the outside. We're going to talk to one of our awesome volunteers, Tom Thayer. He's been working on this plane for two years to get her back to what she might have looked like if she had been based at Lowry. Let's go talk to him because he's pretty cool. So now we're on the top of the wing with this awesome guy, Tom Thayer. 
He's actually been up here for two years working on just the wings alone. We basically haven't let him off, but that's okay. We won't go into that now. Tom, thank you for being with us. Can you tell us a little bit of what you've been doing? Sure. Um, it's restoration work. We're removing the paint, polishing the aluminum and the rivets and uh, everything on the surface uh, to take it back to what it looked like when it came out of the factory. Awesome. And that's a lot of rivets, as you can see. And even more so, I can see right down here, every time I'd walk by, you were pulling bolts out of this kind of seam right there. What were those? Those are the bolts that hold the wing on. There are about 400 of them, and each one needed to be cleaned. Oh, out, wow. uh, and replaced. Now, you tighten those all back up, right? Oh, yes. Okay, good. You know, that's awesome. I just, I love seeing you guys work so hard on this plane because she really is gorgeous when you think about it. Thank you so much for your help on this video series, and thank you even more so for helping us on the plane. You know, that reminds me. There are only six of these old girls left. There are five in museums, and one is in Hawaii. And now with the production money that we've got, we're gonna go check that old girl out. So let's go see her in Hawaii. I can't wait. We're in Hawaii. How awesome is this? Mahalo, aloha everybody. Why are we in Hawaii? Cause you can be, we got the money, you know? Well, okay, we're actually in Hawaii so we can look at a B-18. Now, unfortunately that B-18 is pow, right into the side of a mountain. Luckily, everybody survived. This was 1941, but the Air Force never forgets where they've left a plane. So in the 1960s, they came to Hawaii, they took out the top turret and the nose turret to help restore their bomber at Dayton. So, let's go check out the B-18 here so we can, oh, I mean, let's go back to Denver. So there you go, the B-18 Bolo in just 10 short minutes. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did crawling around that thing because come on, who doesn't like crawling around planes? Um, if you have questions or comments, make sure to put them in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as possible with an answer. Now, next month, you're not gonna wanna miss this, we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually looking at a traveling exhibit that we have here called Da Vinci Machines. And it's going to be a beautiful thing to look at these machines that the Mr. Leonardo da Vinci, he made back in the Italian Renaissance. Okay, I'm sorry. That was horrible. My apologies to our Italian viewers. Because, Anyway, you're not going to want to miss it. We're actually going to have a fellow curator here, Mark Rogers, and he's going to take us through the exhibit and show us some of these things that da Vinci built, designed, and we still use today. How cool is that? So, stay tuned.